Coming rain and colder temperatures are putting pressure on local groups that help people who are living out on the streets. 13 News reporter Catherine Patterson joins us live from Santa Rita Park after speaking with local shelters. And Catherine, it is already getting pretty chilly out there. Well, Dan Brooke, you're exactly right. Even behind me, an encampment has set up a fire just to stay warm. More and more people are putting on those extra layers, trying to stay warm. For some, it's just a comfort, but for others, it could mean life or death. The numbers keep going up. We're seeing that 100 women a day is, is the norm. Plus, we have the 42 women that are spending the night here, and every one of our beds is full. So it is a concern because we're seeing new faces, we're seeing more faces, and we're seeing a lot of older faces. According to a report published by the Tucson Pima Collaboration to End Homelessness, Tucson's homeless population has increased by over 60% the past five years with rising rent costs and high prices on necessities. Local shelters are the first to feel that change. With the desert's drastic highs and lows, they're asking for warmer items to care for their residents. It's so hard to get warm and it's so cold. The shelter needs more than just blankets. Personal items like beanies and scarves, um, gloves, um, you know, warmer socks. The Salvation Army is asking for hygiene products like soaps and brushes for their residents as more people are seeking refuge from the cold nights. Along with donations, shelters across Tucson are also looking for volunteers to help with more than just physical aid. And they're just that welcoming smile to, to tell somebody you matter and we care about you. We want to give you uh, you know, a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of coffee uh, because we care about you. For a full list of accepted donations and warming centers that will be going on throughout the winter, you can head to our website at KOLD.com. Reporting live on Tucson Southside, Katherine Patterson, 13 News.